Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Before I start this week's video, I'd like to thank my best friend Varun and his parents for letting me use their car. Uh, I put the Instagram in the description below, check it out. So let's start the video. <laughs> Today we have a 2017 Subaru Outback. This car has a towing capacity of 2,700 pounds. This car has an overall dimension of 190 inches in length by 72 inches in width and 66 inches in height. This car gets an overall gas mileage of 25 on the city and 32 on the highway, which is remarkable for a little car. Let's move on to the engine. In terms of engine, this car has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and it has 230 horsepower and goes 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Moving on to the door, this car is a very nice door because of that wood trim, it accents the whole door very well. These are going to be your seat adjustments, over here are your window controls. It also has your mirror adjustments on the handle right there. Nice cup holder right there. This is your gas cap release and over here is going to be your hood release. It's away from like your feet which is a very well designed by Subaru. Now moving on to the steering wheel, you see that you got your volume controls front and center and the other buttons are used to toggle between like seek and skip. Down here are your buttons that help you toggle between on the uh, screen next to the speedometer. Those are going to be your call buttons, so if like you get a call or you want to pick up uh, end a call, you can do that with those buttons right there. And over here on this side, you got your uh, cruise control, so like various buttons over here. At the back, you got paddle shifters in this car, which is very nice. I really like that. And that's going to sum up the steering wheel. This is going to be the startup interface for the Subaru Outback. You see when I hit the start button, all the gauges will flare. There's also a blue like outline on the speedometer, which helps like in the nighttime driving. And when I shut the car off, all the gauges turn off. Now moving on to the front entertainment system, you see you got your home buttons and map controls closest to the driver. And closest to the passenger, you got your seek and skip uh, controls over there. At the top, you got your volume knob, and also that's gonna act as your audio off and on button. So like you click it, your uh, audio turns on, press it, turns off. This is gonna be your climate control. You got your driver temperature control and passenger temperature control in this car. You got, in the center, you got all your buttons like uh, rear defrost, front defrost, and uh, various buttons over there. At the side, you also have heated seats, which is awesome. You got heated seats for the passenger and the driver. Moving further down, you see you got like a nice storage slash cubby area. So it's like hidden away. Once you press that, it opens up. You got your uh, two USBs and an aux, cord, aux port in this car. And nice area to like stow away like your keys or like a snack. Now moving on to the gear shifter, you see you got a nice coin holding area right there, two cup holders in the front, and overall you got eight cup holders in this car. And right there is going to be your parking brake. So you push the brake and pull it up, that turns the parking brake on. And you push the brake and push it down, that will disengage the parking brake. And now coming to the gear shifter, you just pull it back once, goes to reverse, one more time neutral, one more time drive, and you push it to the left, it goes to shift mode. That you could use the paddle shifters at the back of the steering wheel to shift in manual. This is going to be the center console in the Subaru Outback. You see when I open it up, it's actually very deep inside. You got a lot of storage area in terms of center console in this car. This small attachment you get when you buy the car is like for like coin, coins or you could uh, like throw your keys into the center console. Moving aside, you see that this is actually a nice center console, like to the touch. It feels very like premium is what I want to say. Overall, that's going to be your center console in the Subaru Outback. Now moving on to the seats in this car. You see that the driver's seat is the only one that is power adjustable. You can move it front or back, up or down. You can also recline all the way if you wanted. In this car, you get tan color seats. I think that flows very well with like the black uh, steering wheel and everything. Now moving on to the back seat, you see that the back seats are also the same color. You got heated seats in the back with this car. Uh, just It's only two seats, not the middle. And in the middle, you see when I open it up, you got actually a cup holder slash armrest for the two seats in the middle. You can also sit three people if you put that all the way up. Now I'm going to show you how to fold down the seats in the Subaru Outback. Right here is going to be a button. You click it. The seat will come down 
giving you complete access. Now moving on to the trunk, you might wonder how to open it. You, there's a button at the back, you can click that or take the key and hit, hold down the trunk release button. That will make the trunk automatically open up by itself. And in terms of trunk, I really like this trunk because it's got like a lot of storage. You could also like put your bags in there, like your milk cartons. You push that button, you got a bag holder, like you could like clip on your bag to that. And in terms of cargo volume, this car has 35 point five uh cubic feet by 73.3 cubic feet so it's actually very big you could fit like a lot of suitcases if you're traveling now you're wondering how to close the trunk right there's two ways there's a button at the top of the trunk where you can click it and it'll retract or you could take the key hold down the same button you did to open it which will make the trunk automatically close by itself now let's move on to our special features segment so special feature number one in this car is going to be memory trunk. So like if you share this car with like your family or it's like a family car, you could pick a position where it opens up. So let's say whenever you get groceries, you open up the trunk and open up to a certain spot, knowing that which key you took. So it depends on the key too. Like your dad takes his different key, it opens up to his set That's position. That's all for this week's video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Also subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. I'll be back next week with a new car and new video. Stay tuned. Bye.